Javi. Really strong team. The Wolf and... I'm gonna guess he's gonna go with Lucina. Yeah, it looked really strong earlier. Lucina's gonna be really good against Peach, I feel. Having that sword to just wall out the float uh, spacing of Peach. Yeah, I think the play if they do have stage control over the blue team is to let Javi stay in the front, swing out the sword, and then uh, Leo just stays behind, ready to cover any, you know, uh, team follow-up that can happen from there. Okay, just with the command grab here, trying to set the team's combo into Sandstora. It's barely missing. And uh, Tweak has also mentioned in the past that he does believe that Wario is really difficult to fight uh, against Lucina. It's because he doesn't have the range that Lucina has, and he's kind of forced to run into the sword to get his uh, offense start, uh, started. So if uh, I was Tweak, I would try my best to just force the 1v1 on uh, Leo. And let Samsora handle uh, obviously. <laughs> Oh, dropping slash coming out there from how to take out Sam's first stock, and there it is again. Tweak being the first one, or the only one to stay on his uh, first stock here. Kind of like Wario, that's actually really strong because he's just weaving in and out in the air, makes himself really hard to kill. And on top of being heavy as well. He makes a really scary character in doubles. Also added to the fact that the longer he stays alive, the more he just builds up that uh, that walk timer. Ooh. Oh, in the forest and Galeo off the stage looking at Esgar here. Applying tons of pressure. Great carry to get to the center stage. Galeo moving really well down throw. No team combo. But here we go. No, Javi just barely missing the setup, but if Galeo still spacing really well, he hits his knees and does get that stock on the with the back there. Last stock here. Sweet. The position to get too. Wow, just dies raw to the bike. Or the bite, that is. Oh, big damage here from Tweak. Still having the walk on deck as well. Makes him so dangerous. There's the back deck. Oh, up to him. Look up to him, man. Watch yourself. Sometimes you keep playing the same move over and over. You're probably going to go back up to him. Oh, he's going to the walk. I'm, I'm finding that Tweak is just... If he knows he's not going to kill, he's content with going for it anyways, because he knows he just backs up that really safe percent. Especially since it being doubles, he can rely on his partner to get the kill as well. Oh, the lingering hitbox of the Force Smash connecting off of the oh. fight, and then Leo just cleans it up with the up smash anti here. Leo, he's going to put in work and he's going to cast shoot him. All right, let's see what we can do here in this 2v1, though. He has the character to do it, I feel. Again, he's another character that's just really mobile and uh, really heavy, too. You can take a lot of damage before you can drop this stock. Back. He's also finding a way to stay out of uh, in a situation where he's put in between Leo and Javi. They're trying to just roll around him, put him in the center, but he's just jumping back and forth. Just double up. Or there to get some more. Yeah. 
Oh, oh man, no. too early. No, the fourth throw, okay. I respect what you want. They want he wants his game to throw and he's more sweet than the game right there when he hits the world. They're slowly but surely picking away at Tweak, making it really difficult to make the comeback. Trying to land with the up tilt right where it needs to be. All the up there? No, not enough. A lingering hitbox off for of the bike. Makes that up tilt last longer than it should. Just looking for an opening here. So close, but there's a falling up there. Yeah, catching him right when he's trying to fall on top of him. You can even tell Javi, right, when he kind of just... I unironically looked at us. He was looking at the side of release because he knew once Tweak had one of them, he might have had the other. Yeah, it's a really unfortunate for Tweak that he whiffed that early waft and uh, wasn't able to charge it longer because he was playing really evasive. If he had just gave it a little bit more time for the waft yeah. to charge up, would have been a really uh, solid kill option to have in the back pocket. But nonetheless, Leo and Javi gonna take the first game. Really close stuff from both players. Uh, I don't know, man. I would like to see a counter pick come out. But uh, a lot of people are just opting to go back to PS2 because of the nature of uh, no DSR, I believe, in this goal set. Yeah. So you are able to just keep going on the stage that you want on. I don't know. What, what do you feel about that rule? You know, it is what it is. I, I, for me, say, say what you want, right? But for me, understanding DSR, even for the newcomers, I kind of respect it. Like, no DSR versus DSR. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm up on the fence. Right? I'm up on the fence about it. I, I really am up on the fence. Mm. Uh, for me, I, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm up on the fence. But real talk, I think we can all agree. Let's get rid of Yoshi. That's, that's my new Lila, bro. That's my new auto. Mm, a lot of people just automatically ban it. I don't, I don't have any like preference for against it, but uh, the edges definitely are, you know, disorienting for a lot of people, and they don't like how the platform layout. So. Exactly. It's a really strong Olimar stage, that's I'm, for sure. I mean, you guys with the real knowledge, it's just the worst. It's just yeah, it's, it's, just the worst map, it's like Smashville with uh, awkward ledges and a uh, longer platform. And a platform that's Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't because, you know, Anon has a Europe's out here as well. Yep. Canada. I think there's like five countries represented in total, but we've not represented on the stage with that SD. Oh, yeah, Tweak dropping that early stock is definitely going to be better for the blue team because I just feel like he's such a good stock tank and that he stays, uh, he stays active in the team, not necessarily just running away, but he just uh, gets a little hit he can and then just fades back, keeps the stock safe, and lets 10 stories back at percent. Great tech there coming out from Hobby to stay alive. Going deep off the stage, Sensor gets countered on the up B. Great time. Go to Forte and Tracer over the downer to finish off the week. And they're able to come back. It's the car stretcher of the downer coming off the floor. Tweak really far off the stage now though. Good opportunity for him to be able to find his goal. Change up the game plan a little bit. He knows I want the shoot he wants, but I don't want to keep on stage. So it keeps the distance with the blaster to kind of cut the floor up off the condition to back off Javi for a second. And allow Javi to break and still be able to work on him. We got a really dangerous percent here though. Still slightly with the bike and Wild gets a stock for it too. Uh, pretty good trade. I mean it is the first stock, but healing damage while getting a stock for yourself. Not too bad. There is another anti-air us match just barely enough to kill from Leo. Nice <laughs> down smash, man, immediately covering the ledge. Very good spacing. Kind of fake that he was going to go back and help out uh, Javi in the 2v1 and then caught uh, Samsung's recovery. Oh, but there's the up air chain into the wall. That's the beauty of having that. As soon as I saw him with the first one, I already knew, like, hold up. Tweak's going to go off this time. Yeah, really good uh, technical skill that came out from Tweak. And that's just the beauty of having Wario in doubles. Like, even if they're behind in stocks, 
If he gets that to work, it can kill off such an early percent that can swing the match right back in their favor. Definitely made it a lot closer. Navi's out of there. Oh, the forward air from Deep covers the jump from MK Leo. That walk from Tweet just put them in such a good position to make this comeback happen. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous to think about this way, right? Tweet and, Tweet and Leo kind of go back and forth, right? The last stock, last game in this scenario, last game. And they're even doing that here at Double Dark. The red team, Tweet is definitely trying to keep that in the face. I mean, hey, they don't have any script, but I'm telling you how it's already been doing a lot of time. This is a guy here, Tweet is a spot dodge. I'm going to have to do what I have to do. That's like an NPC free combo, like, hold on, let me use my assist. <laughs> exactly, that's what, uh, some of y'all be wary of these teams. Not only do you have to fight one person, you have to really time your attacks to where you're not in lag to where the partner can follow, but there's that beautiful spot dodge that we love in this game. Much better in this game, though. You can act on it much faster than you could before. But of course, you also gotta be weary, right? Spot dodge, oh, cool. balls, and the right hand, that's the sign of the big booty. And the cheeks were clapped there against, <laughs> against Javi, and that's what happened. Yeah, great way of covering the air dodge. Coming out there from Tweak, giving it up 1-1. Man, all the teams that have been playing so far on stream, like, there hasn't... I don't know if Zachary and Shitan, everyone's just been super close. Yeah. Like, one team will probably win down the, the first game. Next game, it's like, immediately switched around. I mean, it's, it's not even just teams, man. They're looking at a, a grand scale. This is kind of like a world tour of this match, right? Even like a major at this point. Right, we're smashing out a full effect. Yeah, you know, major just a big major about every month, almost every week. Right? And it's kind of like a world tour for Smash. Yeah, we got Pound uh, next weekend as well. Like, the the grind does not stop. Man. Yeah, no. But we here you are, Prime Saga Game yeah, 3. Man. Night Shift does not end up. You know, here, let's go ahead and Game 3. Samsara, Kaleo, USA, Mexico. Mexico. I do respect the fact that I'm gonna try to turn around and take and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna grab you. Let's see how this 1v1 turns into. Don't put Zebra with the up throw up there for Tweet. Now, uh, I'm really starting to see that they're both teams are just trying to force one side of the team to the other stage instead of just getting these team combos where they're in the center. Yeah. It's kind of like the one that, like, bar bronze. Like, I kind of want you to have the bar and I want the bar to myself. There's no point in one to one anymore. Let's just go ahead and control the stage and see how next to this one to it. Hey, yo, man, stop the spot. Yeah. Yeah. The rivalry between uh, Tweak and MKLA was always interesting because they both just really want to beat each other. Both think they're like the top two in the game, right? Yeah. And I know Tweak kind of has a little bit after MKLA both in the first spot, but. Like, it's not really skilling if you get ran, but you know what it comes down to, right? Now, I mean, now, ultimate, ATR, full back here, AT event. You can send Sora, you can win, and obviously have a lot of things to talk about. Beautiful hit confirmed there, but down tilt forward, or sorry, down tilt dash tackle with Wario is so good. Just that down tilt is so quick, it's safe to throw out. Alright, we can really go out of the fight into the offense. There's the hard stretch of the down tilt. Sora though staying on this first dog really healthy, but Tweak again another hit confirmed fastball up there into the walk. But when we got Tweak like getting these early stocks while Sam Sora getting his hit back and keeping his stocks fresh and rack up percent with his like, incredible pitch combos. And it's really tough for any of the characters that Nikolayo and Cover are using to be a stock tank, right? Because if you can just float away, give yourself a little bit of a pace, right? But the open is similar, you're kind of doing really crappy damage on the other side. The best you can do is force yourself to play stock tank. Most people just don't even want to play damage. Most people want to play damage, not tank. You're hurling with two consents, so I know what it takes time to pick right here. It's just kind of a trick in there, right? You get into game four, you get to the same point. The best thing you can, could be good. Especially with the blue team down to their last box. 
Sam Sora though, looking really strong, still hanging on to the stock, getting in there, getting the damage he needs. Cucumber, no, Tweak intercepts it. Holding there, super dangerous, I'll say great tech on the Dolphin Slash, but Tweak's going to work on Mobby stock, up smash from Sam Sora. MK Leo is out of there, now we're in a 2v1 with a 3 stock advantage. Probably a really rough spot for the 2v1. Tweak lurking at the ledge. Oh, it doesn't cover the roll, but it still rolls right back into Tweak. Still in a really fast spot on the stage. And there's the assist there's the from Samsora and the assist from Toad. Beautiful down B on the uh, recovery from Samsora. Man, that's how Lucina feels right now, right? She's usually used to being on the other receiving end of that. She's like, oh, I'm going to go out and take the cover. Toad and Ultimate definitely leveled up the Captain Toad for sure. Yeah, it's, it just seems much stronger in this game. Uh, it kills way earlier than it did before, and since all stage is much more of a commitment than it was before, it's just a really good edge guarding tool in general. This really completes Peach's toolkit in this game. Like, not only does she combo you like crazy when you're on the stage, maybe she sends you off stage and just getting shut out of stock with like multi options. But, uh, let's see what happens here. MK Leo and Javi, they do have a lot of carries that can potentially go. Am I hearing double Lucina from Leo and Javi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when the chips are down and it's down to that point for Red Team, all right? MK Leo and Javi kind of know what they want to do. They know what they have to do. No, uh, they, uh, this is like the first time they use like a team like this where like they're both using sword characters and following up on each other. I was about to say, hold on, you don't remember Double Prime? Yeah, it's not, it's not <laughs> the first game, time. In this game, but in this game. Yeah. Well, I'm not super surprised to see it. And Leo does, has shown that he's uh, very proficient with this character we've seen him. Especially when it comes to, you know, dealing with tweaks. But uh, we'll see how it works out. Right now we're going relatively even. They're not really in a position where they can get team combos off the sword. Uh, Red Team just recognizing that, you know what, if they get us sandwiched in between them, we're going to take tons of damage. So let's just separate them as best as possible. But there goes Javi with a deep offstage back there, taking out Sam Sword's first stock, which is really great for them. He's doing an amazing job of hanging on to his first stock in the previous game. That might actually be why they both switched to a disjointed sword character, too, to make it really hard for Sam Sword to uh, hang on like he was before. The ledge here trying to get Edgar. Not sure what that was there from, uh, from Leo. Wasting his jump really early. Both did damage. Nice follow up there from Samsara on the combo. And Leo's gonna go for Edgar himself. Alright, Sora getting caught between all the swords, but Tweet cleaning up Hobby's first stock as well. Oh, nice down there into the forward smash. She's looking really strong right now. The double Lucina putting in work right here. Strongly, but there it is again that walk. If you don't have a lead when Wario can just sell, up, sell out a stock just like that. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's covered there by the F-Smash. Really scary position to be in. Just wanted to get some stage control back, but Leo not letting it happen. Okay. Team Double Lucina looking really strong right here. Making it really hard for both players and the Red Team to weave around. But oh my goodness, got completely obliterated by the... Uh, team attack from Samsora's forward there. Bit of a flood that came out from the red team. Okay, and I'll stay with the edge guard. Oh, new back there from Samsora, can't follow up. Both members of the red team trying to pressure as much as possible, keep them on the other side of the stage. You need to get this stock off the of Leo, man. Force the share stock to put him in a good position. Because Tweaks had such a low percent that they can still make this three-day game. But touch up. Leo, man. He's, so not gonna, he's not going to 
will let some sort of have that opportunity to even play a save. Both players are pretty much it's, uh, you know, basically just to put down the fast packs. Full damage combo, right? That's what they want. They want the damage, they want the stocks. No more one player trying to play it safe, or player trying to play it from behind. So. Alright, landing there. Goes off extra deep against the oh, Back hit of the top and yeah, slash. Yo, man, I I'm telling you, you can even feel it here in doubles, right? Tweak versus Leo is always happening. Six stuff. Six stuff from Leo and Javi there, touching it out, bringing it to a game five. Crazy. The character switch that they needed. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy, right? Both players, tier one sponsors as well. Yeah. No shout, shout out to TSM for sponsoring too. He does have a good thing. Definitely. I mean, like you said, him, him and Leo are like contention for the two best players in this game right now. So. And they deserve some of the two best sponsors. Yeah, exactly, there. exactly. You know, man, but some of the some of the some of the shoes some of the shoes advances, you know, a sponsor. Oh, you ready for Echo Fox? I'm not gonna lie, as, as a kid, my mom actually like really was a huge fan of Red Fox. <laughs> it's kinda weird when I told her, like, oh man, uh, they actually know your own movies. My mom knew about Echo Fox before me. That was what? weird, yeah, my mom knew about Echo Fox before me. Man, she is a yeah. Rick Fox fan. Shout out to my mom, though. I, I enjoy it. I love the video games come from my mom, so... I think she's in the chat, too. Hi, mom. Anyways, look about parents, man. They are great. Family that's great. And MK Leo and Bobby have a family on here in Game 5. But of course, you know the family that's also Tweak and Samsora have kind of just come together here and put themselves in a Game 5 situation. Yeah, I do believe they, uh, they team most of the options too, Tweak and Samsora. Like, this isn't the first time teaming at all. I mean, it would. Obviously, it isn't because of how much synergy they have in the first place. But, uh, really thinking about this Game 5 here. See what goes in here. Game five of the set. Yes, do our die time. Four and fourteen. Go! 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 I never expected because you have the smaller process. Yeah, they, uh, they're taking a bit of time to decide their final stage for this, uh, this set right here. And it's really interesting that they decided for their you know, potential clutch game to be on Yoshi's Island. I feel like all characters kind of benefit from the smaller stage. Or, uh, they can reach out there and get you on the ground. Both Lucina's, you know what I'm saying? A few extra percent of people are on the edge. Wario, also really good at Atari. Of course, beautiful. Yeah, that would be support air is definitely going to kill much earlier on this game. But also, you got to worry about missing it back there for one air for its match. But, I feel like if... I don't think I really tell you who's going to see it right now. But, it's definitely a lot of... A lot of benefits when you've seen it, but it's not speed. Yeah, like I said, they wanted to abuse the fact they could get earlier stage, or, sorry, earlier kills on this stage, but the blue team definitely can uh, benefit from it just as well. The down slash out of kills, or out of shields, to get the kill there from Mr. Leo. Oh, the counter on the up B. I'll be trying to get in the edge guard as well. Okay, I'm coming up on MK Leo. And once again, that takes a few meets MK Leo at the ledge. He has the higher ground, but MK Leo able to cross himself back in. Good opportunity for him. So, Sora coming in for the safe. Kind of switching partners here. First stop going to be on MK Leo. Pretty even the match right here, honestly. Yeah. Oh wait, is Samsara already dropping on his last side? I wasn't sure what happened on that the left side of the stage. Okay, Javi looking to go for an edge guard here on Tweet. No, team combo on Samsara, man. Just making his last stock super difficult. Yeah, last stock, almost a like last stand, and now we're deep out of the play with one stock less. A uh, really risky throw to go for right when it's a punt right next to him. You punch the lag on that relatively easily. 
Yeah, it's also really difficult, it seems, for uh, the members of the red team to intercept these team combos because if they try to jump in and make something happen, they're just going to be in danger of getting spotted by the sword themselves. And Sensor is immediately out of there with the edge guard with the hobby. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a super hard comeback to make. Force docks against two swords as Wario. <laughs> There's no other way to say it, man. This is really what it is. What it is. Yeah, this last counter pick with a smaller stage definitely helped out uh, Layla and Hobby. The hitbox just covers so much area on the stage here more than it did before. That's something you gotta get respect to, right? He's never, he's not out. The controller in his hands, you don't want to drop it just yet. Make sure I have to be a little bit American. If it does work. Oh, but the lag on the back there gets covered by MKLeo. Yep. Team Mexico taking it over USA. Team Sonora. Out of the place. Yeah, still making it to pay a really respectable, I believe, fourth place.